we arrive at these principles, let's shift our attention to the methods we use to arrive at this place. At the center of our work lie engagement and synthesis. Using this learning model to guide our research, we use data, dialogue, and feedback to involve an entire spectrum of actors and different research domains in deliberation of our equity-oriented principles. With these cycles of engagement and synthesis continually informing and shaping each other, we convened a number of deliberative dialogues that ultimately included the perspectives of more than 300 participants. These dialogues were iterative, building on each other to effectively extend our collective reflections on shared values and ideals that could serve as the foundation for global health research principles. In these dialogues, we prompted participants with questions. What would we love to see happen for global health research in a generation? How do equity, effectiveness, and engagement resonate as values in global health research? What do these look like in practice? What are the implications of study findings so far, and what responses are needed immediately within three years and within five years? Participants' conversations around these questions included a direct call for strengthened governance in global health research inviting the CCGHR to continue engaging people in dialogue about involvement in global health research. We designed a second phase of the research project in direct response to participant comments, questions, and calls for action. A central focus of the second phase was the elaboration of guiding principles for global health research. We began with a deliberative dialogue attended by content experts in both global health research and ethics, using a comprehensive environmental scan to stimulate discussion around an initial set of principles that could be put forward for further discussion and refinement among groups across the country and around the world. Using this preliminary document as background to these discussions, we asked, why is global health research needed? What principles should guide it? How would you use these principles? How do the preliminary principles resonate or not resonate with you? What changes are needed? As we began to focus more directly on how these principles might increasingly shape global health research, we looked to existing guides and resources that spoke to ethical and equitable engagement in research, grounding this work in the exemplary guidelines already available. And we now wish to acknowledge and honor the shoulders we stand on, including, among others, the Guidelines for the Conduct of Research with Aboriginal People from the Canadian Institutes of Health Research, the Ethics Framework for Research Involving First Nations, Inuit, and Métis as in 2014's Tri-Council Policy Statement, and the First Nation Principles of OCAP, Ownership, Control, Access, and Possession, and Article 12 of the United Nations International Covenant on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights. The principles we've developed do not in any way compete with these. Rather, they should be seen as a complement and an extension that global health researchers felt were critical to promoting research that was for equity. Further, these principles must be considered in the context of all ethical obligations of researchers or others involved in research, including compliance with the procedures and policies of research ethics boards and adherence to TCPS 2.